everybody. It's Matt. Well, I don't know if we're live yet. We're getting there. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Thanks for joining us here on YouTube. Be sure to check out RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com for plenty more Royal Caribbean news, information, fun, advice. It's all waiting for you over at RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Happy Monday, everybody. We are here live with you guys. Thank you for being part of the fun. And uh, yeah, we're here to answer your Royal Caribbean Cruise questions. Starting with the most important question, how many days until your next Royal Caribbean Cruise? Check your countdown in chat. Let's count down together. I've got less than two weeks till I get to go on the Wonder of the Seas. So excited for that. Man, it's been a while. And uh, going to get back on one of my favorite ships. Maybe my favorite ship. You never know. Um, we had uh, some amazing super chatters before the broadcast began. Guys, I can't. I have to take a moment here and say thank you. Um, first of all, so many of you come here week after week after week. And you're here in the chat. Your you're, air conditioner scared me. Uh, you, you're here to support what we're doing. You're, you're part of the, I, I I love that. And then on top of that, we have some amazing people who support the channel here with the Royal Caribbean Blog Club. And, of course, with the Super Chats. You guys are incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. MJ, thank you for the Super Chat. 27 Days to Oasis. Please say hi to the Flip Boat, Flipowski family. I don't know what that means. <laughs> who that is. Any good Valley Hotel recommendations in Miami for Saturday night? The best way to say, I don't have a good value hotel. Um, it's expensive in Miami. Your best bet if you really want to save money on a Miami hotel is don't stay in Miami. Stay somewhere north. Um, Fort Lauderdale. What, I mean, if you go up to West Palm Beach, you're going to save a heck of a lot of money. Pompano Beach. The further north you go, uh, and that's within an hour drive, by the way, um, you'll be able to save a lot more money on um, on a hotel. That's my best bet. Otherwise, it's like the airport hotels aren't usually as bad as the downtown hotels. But beyond that, there's some not so great neighborhoods in Miami that I wouldn't necessarily recommend. Josh Albertson, thank you for the super chat. I just booked Navigator of the Seas in June 2025 with Kelly. From MEI Travel, saved a couple thousand over what it would have cost first time with the travel agent. Hashtag Matt to Crown's Edge. Uh, darn it, Josh. I'm not going on Icon of the Seas till June. But thank you for your support, my friend. Appreciate it. And thank you for supporting uh, MEI Travel. Piano Vomit. What a great name. Uh, thank you for the super chat. I don't see a message from you uh, in the chat. But Piano Vomit, if I missed your message, type super chat in your message. And I will find it uh, in there. Um, one second. Uh, Mike Teeny, thank you for the super chat. Two hundred thirty-six days till our cruise on Wonder, first ever cruise for us. What's your opinion of must do things on Wonder? Cheers from Finland. Uh, must do things on Wonder of the Seas. I would definitely say the shows. When you're on an Oasis class ship, you've got to see the shows in the Aqua Theater, the Main Theater, and of course uh, Studio B. Um, they're, they're must dos. Quite frankly, that's like uh, that's a given. Um, and then beyond that. I mean, there's great dining. I don't know that you have to have specialty dining to have a great cruise. But if you want to sprinkle in one or two specialty restaurants, that would be a pretty good idea if you ask me. But the shows by far are the must-see on there. Uh, Michelle Taylor, thank you for the Super Chat. Mariner in 20 days, here I come. So excited. Nice. And Nicole Lombardi, you guys are on the same cruise. I learned that last week. And back-to-back uh, -back Super Chats there. 20 days till Mariner of the Seas getting excited. Nice. Chris Stell, thank you for the super chat. I don't see a message from you, Chris, but thank you for your support there. I'm just verifying uh, one thing that I hope is working. It'll, I hope the pop-ups are working today. I have to look at that. Rate, and, of course, uh, Chris, you can always set your message in chat again. I'll look for it. Um, Raid Shifty, thank you for the super chat. 35 days till Panama Canal on, on Radiance. If I have the one device boom package... Can I use different devices, just two devices at the same time? Correct. Yeah, you can sign out of one and then do another. It's just two devices at, um, you have the, it's one device at a time. That's all. Uh, Dion Watson, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Matt, going on Wonder in 139 days. If I have a massage booked in the spot embarkation day, do I have to tip the masseuse and what other crew members do I have to tip while on board? Yeah, so gratuity is automatic, actually. You'll get it assessed on there. If you booked it before the cruise, you should see, actually, when you booked it, the line item and then 18% automatic gratuity on there. If you want to tip on top of that, that's totally up to you. But there should be an automatic 18% gratuity. Um, in terms of who do you tip while on board, um, really in the casino, um, if you order a drink with a drink package, it's a good idea to tip them a dollar. 
um, things like that. Uh, Desiree Hall, thank you for the super chat. Good to see you here, J uh, Desiree. Jason Burma with an amazing, epic super chat. Holy smokes. Uh, thank you, Jason, so much for the super chat. 13 days to wonder. Thanks for all the quality info. I think we're going to be on the same cruise, my friend. So thank you, Jason, for your generosity. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on board the Wonder of the Seas. Why is everything backwards? Hold on a second. I just realized... Uh, uh, video mirror camera. I don't know why you're mirroring the camera. There we go. That should fix that problem. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Thank you, Teresa. Um, I'm, I'm getting the, the, all the questions so far, Teresa, are from before the broadcast began. The first one coming up is Steve Rose. Uh, so we're not quite there yet. Uh, Michael S., thank you for the super chat. Michael S. wrote, uh, Forge of the Still Symphony. Uh, is Wonderland worth the expense? If you've never done it before, I think it is. It's fun. It's different, certainly. Uh, Susan Westfall, just saying hello. Well, Susan, thank you for the super chat. And Janelle, thank you for the super chat. Would have been 35 days to alert, but me and my wife had to cancel when we found out we're pregnant with our first. Congratulations, Mazel Tov. Already scouting for sailings for the due date plus six months. That's exactly the way to go about it. Steve Rose, Steve, thank you for the super chat, buddy. I don't see a message from you, Steve. And those are all the super chats from earlier um, in the uh, uh, before we began. So now we're caught up to the extent that these are super chats that have shown up now since the broadcast began. But again, thank you all for your generosity, uh, Chris. Thank you for the super chat. Thirteen days to explore. One thirty-eight in Chambers, two ninety-two Freedom. Two questions: the Best place to get a Jamaican patty in Falmouth. I don't have a good recommendation for you. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I wish I had something I could give you, but I got nothing on that one. Best place to watch from Sail Away in Miami Beach? Um, I would go the Frost Science Center is one place. It's not Miami Beach, but that's one place to go. Actually, that's not a great place. Um, there is a... Oh, gosh. I forgot the name. Hold on. I'm going to help you out here. Uh, there's, a, there's a park that you can go to that I don't remember the name of. So it's not very helpful that I... Um, gosh, does anyone remember the name of the park? I'd have to double-check the chat here for this one. But there is a... Um, Port Miami. This is now I'm in Google Maps mode. I'm going to find it for you. Oh, South Point Park. Um, so you want to go to South, like South P O I N T E Park, uh, is the place for that one. Let's check that out. Also, Smith and Walensky, uh, Maria, thank you. That's a, I don't know. Can you just go there and hang out? It's a restaurant, obviously, but uh, yeah, South Point Park. Uh, cool. Uh, again, Chris, uh, Chris, thank you for the super chat and Whipple, and thank you for the super chat. Is it true uh, that Royal Caribbean is no longer giving platinum and emerald lapel pins? Uh, that is what I've heard. Um, Royal Caribbean updated its um, uh, uh, crown and anchor loyalty benefits grid, and it was no longer on there. And trust me when I tell you, this doesn't matter at all. Um, the only I, I mean, I'm not I'm not a fan of wearing pins to begin with, but the pin, the the platinum and emerald, like in my opinion, there's there's pinnacle pins and there's everything else. I don't know that it really matters, but um, it's not. I mean, obviously, other people, have, you're all welcome to your, your own opinions on this. I don't think it really matters at that level. But, yes, I've, I've, I've heard that as well. Uh, David wants to know, are you able to switch a cruise without penalties? Hey, you booked a four-night, now you want to do a seven-night instead. Uh, no. there is It doesn't work that way. Um, essentially, every ship, every sailing is an individual reservation, David. So what you would do is you would have to end up cancel and rebook. So in order to do that, among other things, you would incur a change fee because you book non-refundable deposit, $100 per person. And on top of that, any change in the cruise fare, David. So, no, it doesn't work quite the way I think you're asking me if it would work that way. Uh, Brooke Cordova. Brooke, thank you for the Super Chat 52 today. So, wedding cruise on Harmony. Uh, what are some must-use for first-time travelers attending? Best place to eat for especially dinner. Uh, best place for especially dinner, either Izumi, Hibachi, or um, 150 Central Park would be my, my two choices. Um, <clears throat> what are some must-use for my first-time travelers attending? Show, I mean, when it comes to waste class ships, guys, it's the shows, it's the entertainment. That is really what makes these ships stand out. So definitely make a point to see the shows on board. I think that's a really, really 
uh, good thing. Uh, I've never been on a cruise. What is the best time to book a cruise right now? The prices only go up uh, over time. So honestly, booking as early as you can is the best time to book a cruise. Recommendations for lunch at Port Canaveral tomorrow, Stephen? Go to uh, Rising Tide. Um, it's right by the port. It's called the Rising Tide Restaurant. Really, really good. Uh, Raymond, thank you for the super chat. Best thing to describe Anthem of the Seas from last week, Jamie's Beef Lasagna. Well, I know that Elizabeth, um, actually, no, not Elizabeth, sorry, Callista, one of our writers at realcoreanblog.com was on Anthem of the Seas as well last week. I'm so glad to hear that Jamie's Beef Lasagna was fantastic. I love the new menu update they made to Jamie's um, last year. They really, it makes a big, big difference right there. That's fantastic. Uh, lots of questions, guys. We're going to as many as we possibly can. Uh, Gary Bember, just number two fan. Thank you for the super chat. I applied for Fort on Wednesday for a cruise. You mentioned, you once mentioned you were involved in an emergency landing. What happened? And do you have any tips to manage your fear of flying? I was. Um, my only tip is, um, honestly, you've got to remember that this, the statistically speaking, flying is the safest form of travel. Um, it's unlikely to happen to you since that one time it happened to me. It's never happened again to me. Thank goodness. Knock on wood. Rub Tony Diaz's belly, whatever you need to do. Um, it's, I mean, look at the, look at the record, the safety record for the airline industry over the last, you know, a couple decades. Um, that's, that's really what honestly puts my mind at ease more than anything. And then if that doesn't work, a couple beers before your flight might be a good idea. Uh, Lauren, the legend Lisco. What's everyone's thoughts on Palm Beach versus Eagle Beach in Aruba? They're interchangeable. They're both really, really good. Lauren, I don't know that one is advantageous over the other. I would just pick whichever one appeals to you for one reason or another. Uh, maybe there's like a particular resort you want to go to that's over there or something like that. Hey, Mike, thank you for the super chat. Matt just visited the Mirror Universe. Indeed. Indeed I did. And I'm back from it. Uh, Kristen, does the Windjammer also serve lobster on Royal Night or only in the main dining room? It's only in the main dining room. Sorry. Uh, Jamie, is it better to wait to become Diamond Plus before doing a level match with Celebrity? Um, great question, Jamie. I don't remember if Diamond or is in... I, I, to Diamond Plus. I think Diamond, you don't get elite stat or uh, not elite status. Um, whatever the status is that maxes out with Crown and Anchor Society. Uh, next question. Where does Chef's Table take place on Icon? Um, is it in Hooked? Am I am I crazy or is that Celebration Table? It's in our video, Chuck. How about this? Here's your homework. Check out our Icon of the Sea ship tour video. It's in there. I know that for sure. Uh, Helcio Mello, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for all that you share with us. Is the light switch on the cabin bathrooms on Icon still placed outside? Oh. Oh, yes? I don't remember. Um, and cheers from Brazil. Thank you. I I, I want to say yes. Like, is it like is the light switch outside of the bathroom or inside the bathroom? It's outside the bathroom, right? Teresa, I know you're in the chat. You keep me honest on this one. Uh, Bill Rinaldi, thank you for the Super Chat. Anyone Ace of Symphony 216 till Jewel? Awesome. Great ships. Love that. What are the best things to do in Cabo and Mazatlan? Mazatlan, like ATV rides are definitely a thing to do in Mazatlan. In Cabo, whale watching. If it's if it's in the season for whale watching, I would definitely recommend whale watching. That was fantastic. Jason H., thank you for the super chat. What's a good kid-friendly hotel in Miami? They love to swim. Thanks. Um, the Marriott Biscayne Bay is really good. They got recently updated. It's a Marriott, so it's definitely family-friendly over there. I would recommend that one. Uh, Nicholas, thank you for the super chat. I saw a review of the new dining rooms, dining menus by Ben and David, where they complained the most of their meals were cold. Have you experienced this? I have not. I can't speak for their experience, but I have gone to the main dining room many, many times. I cruise the Royal Caribbean a lot, dare I say. I don't know this for a fact, but I'm going to go on a limb and say I cruise on Royal Caribbean more than, than Ben and David. And I'm going to assume in my breadth of experiences, um, the food was not cold. It's been really good. Um, ever since Royal Caribbean did, redid the menus last year, I've been impressed. Number one, speed of service. Like it used to be this guessing game. Will dinner take two hours or 60 minutes or somewhere in between? Like now it is consistently just like 75, maybe 90 minutes at the most. I'm um, really, really good there. Number two, the food definitely is coming hot. Now, listen, is it like, you know, burn my tongue hot? No, that's never been the case. 
but certainly been warm. I've never gotten like, you know, a, a, um, you know, a French onion soup that's been lukewarm or cold or something like that. Um, so I would not categorize that in my experience for what that's worth. It's my experience. Like, yeah. Tony, thank you for the super chat. Uh, just want to tell you that your channel is the best. Thank you. Also shout out to my travel agent, Donna from MEI travel, 118 days till harmony. Thank you. Awesome. Tony. Thank you for supporting MEI travel. That is fantastic. Russ Crawford. How are you, Russ? Hope you're well, my friend. We were talking about you over the weekend. We were trying to squeeze in a trip to your neck of the woods, but I'm not sure it's going to, I don't think it's going to work out, but, but we miss you, buddy. Uh, big guy. Thank you for the super chat. Why does Royal Caribbean consider you a senior at 55 for booking? You have to be 65. You get a senior discount on the drink package. You know, the, the interesting thing, a uh, great question. I don't know. Um, that the senior discount, there's been a rash of discounts in the cruise planner where like you'll have in there, um, you know, you'll see like there'll be a senior discount or there'll be a balcony discount. Or there'll be a you know diamond plus discount. I think honestly, it's kind of just like I don't want to say it's fake, but I think it's like window dressing. I don't know why they there doesn't actually be much of a correlation between an actual discount versus other people. But um, there's so many sales, big guy, that I'm willing to bet in the grand scheme of things, if you keep an eye on the pricing, that you'll find probably a price that will be among the lowest out there. Um, Brian from How We Cruise. Hello, Dan C. What's going on, man? Thank you for the super chat. We've used your advice connecting balcony cabins for family of four. It has to be the best advice. Thanks for everything. I love that tip. I use that tip still to this day. And the tip basically is if you have kids or family of four, don't squeeze into one room. You get two connecting rooms. It's a better, better overall for many reasons. Jill, thank you for the super chat. Third day celebration out of Sydney. We bought the three night dining package. Which restaurants you recommend? Should we eat at one more than once? There's nothing wrong with eating one more than once. I mean, some people might go, honestly, Jill, some people go to like chops three times. I think that's excessive personally. But anyway, um, what's the restaurants what I do on Ovation? Assuming you've never eaten at these before, Wonderland, Izumi Sushi, and Chops Grill would be my three right there. Uh, or Jamie's Italian if you want to swap out Wonderland because it is a little weird. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Smokey Bandit, very good point. Plus, an emergency landing doesn't mean the plane's in danger. That's true. I mean, we landed successfully. Everything went according to plan after things didn't go to plan, if that makes sense. So, yeah, they do. It's amazing the redundancy and the training the pilots go through. Excellent point, as always. Uh, next question. Audrey, thank you for the super chat on Symphony since yesterday. First cruise ever and loving it. Thanks for all your videos and Q&As to help us be prepared. Awesome. That is uh, that is fantastic. I hope you have a great time on Symphony of the Seas. Man, first cruise. Enjoy that. Audrey, when you get back next week and you're depressed, um, come in the chat and let us know what were your highlights from that cruise. I'd love to uh, love to hear more. Ruth Ann from MEI Travel is here. Hello, Ruth Ann. Good to see you. Dave O, what's going on? Um, Beachy Mama, what is your opinion on the added third time slot for dining? I love it. I mean... I'm, I'm definitely a Goldilocks kind of person. Five is too early, eight is too late, and I don't want to do my time dining. This is exactly what I've always wanted. Uh, Don confirming, by the way, the bathroom switch on Icon is outside the bathroom. Thank you, Don. Good to see you. And, and Teresa confirming as well. Icon bathroom light switch is outside the bathroom. Michael, thank you for the super chat, buddy. Rocking on adventure. See my other comment. I, you know, believe it or not, it's really difficult to find your other comment in here, but uh, I hope you're having a great time on Adventure of the Seas. Brandon LaCourse, thank you for the super chat. Take my wife and two kids on their very first cruise on Icon in 40 days. What are your thoughts on Fantasy Island All-Inclusive and Rotan? I have been there. The All-Inclusive I have done in Rotan was um, Mayan Princess. Um, that's booked through Royal Caribbean. So I don't have any opinions one way or another on, on Fantasy Island. I apologize. If somebody in the chat has been there, please let us know your thoughts on that one. Uh, Sean is going on Symphony in a junior suite. Do I board with a suite guest? You board with a suite guest. Yes, you're in a junior suite. You definitely go to the suite guest line. Salute dog. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, hey, Matt, family loves cru- oh, Hey, Matt, period. Family loves cruising. 19 days till Vision of the Seas. 173 deal enchantment. 242 deal grandeur. And we just booked Wonder for next year. Do we have a problem? Yeah, you don't have enough cruises booked. That's the problem. Honestly, you need to book more cruises. 
Uh, Walter, thank you for the super chat. Recommendations for Shore Series and St. Martin. We're actually going back to this place again. It's um, so I'm putting my money in my mouth as Walter. Um, it's called the Morgan. Is that right? Hold on a second. Da, da, da. Um, I booked it actually. Sorry, I, I misspoke earlier. It's through resortpass.com, resort pass, and it's called the Morgan Resort. And uh, we went there in Thanksgiving, had a great time. It doesn't have a beach, but it does have a really nice pool. Um, and we're going back there again. So there's an easy, all inclusive kind of near Maho Beach. Oh, Jessica, thank you for the super chat. I heard on another uh, channel that if you sail from Texas to New York, your drink package will work till the second day. That's not right. That may be right for other lines. Uh, definitely incorrect for New York. For Texas, there is a limited drink menu on embarkation day until you get like 20 miles out to sea or something like that. Um, but there is still, the drink package still works on the first day. So I think that's like a carnival thing or something. Anyway, on a Royal Caribbean, not New York, there's no change. In Texas, there is a limited drink menu. You can thank the Texas government for deciding to do that. But um, yeah, no, it, it's not true for real, or it's partially true. Everyone look at it for Royal Caribbean. Uh, Lando Caliriban, still I love that name. Thank you for the super chat. 117 till the Icon Group Cruise, 342 till Super Bowl on Wonder. Looking to book the Empire Supper Club, but it won't let me book it solo. Looking to, for something to do in Costa Maya, not beach related. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I I wasn't aware that there was a, it, was, it did not allow people to go by themselves, Lando, to the Empire Supper Club. That is interesting. Um, I mean, you could make up a second person, but then you're going to pay double. That seems excessive if you ask me. Um, so the other thing you do, Lando, is go to a, go to Facebook. Um, find it, actually, this is on Icon. Um, yeah, we. Uh, I'm sure you can find someone in the group, Lando, who wants to do Empire Supper Club. Maybe you could split it with them. That kind of a thing. Um, that's one idea. The other uh, for somebody to do in Coastal Maya that's not beach related. That's a tough one. Um, I mean, renting golf carts is a popular activity. Um, you can rent them. When you walk out of the port area, you'll see a bunch of people selling golf, renting golf carts, rather. And you can rent those. Those seem to be a pretty uh, popular activity. Uh, Connie, is Utopia on schedule? As far as we know, yes. It's one of those things, Connie. It's on schedule until it's not on schedule. There's no warnings, necessarily. And think of the Super Chat, 103 Days to Liberty and our first cruise out of Cape Liberty. What are the best things to do for two days with an overhead side in Bermuda? I'm actually doing this exact cruise. I booked this cruise for my family in June, Anne. I would say, number one, you want to go to um, you want to go to uh, uh, the beach. Pink Sand, Horseshoe Bay. That's the name of the beach. You want to go to Horseshoe Bay. That is a fantastic beach to go to. That's a must-do. That's the quintessential Baja Bermuda Beach. And then um, you also want to go spend some time in Hamilton. Take the water ferry over to Hamilton, which is one of the cities in Bermuda, and do some shopping, walk around. It's a really great thing to do over there. Steve F., thank you for the super chat. 327 days to be board Icon. What should we expect dining? Perfect items to be available to purchase in the cruise planner. Nothing available yet. Unfortunately, Steve, there isn't necessarily a time. There's like, oh, Steve, this many days, this many months before your cruise, it will be there. You just have to keep checking back periodically. I tell people all the time, Steve, like right around six months is a good time period to to, ref to check back again, but somewhere along there. Hey, Troy, thank you for the super chat. 55 days still wonder, thinking of freedom in the fall. Is there a bad balcony room to worry about? Will Earl Green pick a room? There could be, yes. Um, they could place, this is one of the downsides of doing a guarantee cabin. You might end up with a balcony cabin underneath a public venue, like uh, a pool or a restaurant or a lounge. And there could be some loud noises that, lead through to your cabin you might be having a room that's all the way forward and might be more susceptible to motion in the ocean that might make you more seasick um so the short answer is yes it's not to say that it's a you know you're guaranteed to have a bad room but that that is a possibility one thing to keep in mind troy is once your cabin is assigned to you um if there are other cabins of the exact same category available you can always move you can have your room switch to that that's be the exact same category Troy. so when they assign your cabin and it's like category, you know, 3E. It's got to be another 3E cabin in order to be able to move to that, if that makes sense. Hey, Lauren. Um, question, are there solo cabins, studio solo cabins on either Icon Utopia or the Star of the Sea ships? No, no, and no. Royal Caribbean essentially is kind of, I, I don't want to say, I don't know if they've given up on it, but they 
seemingly have given up on adding new studio cabins. They just don't see a market for it because at the end of the day, they're going to make, they're going to fill those double cap, double occupancy rooms. Nothing against you guys as, as solo tra travelers. It's just they they're looking at the bigger picture in the grand scheme of things in, in the sense that you know a double occupancy room is just going to make more money. So that's kind of it's kind of how they think of it, right or wrong. Get out now. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you. I don't see a, a message from you, buddy, but thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Sergio, thank you for the super chat. Six days little oasis. Can Coco Key be fun on a budget? Yes, Sergio, let me be clear. You don't need to spend a dollar at a perfect day at Coco Key. You can go there and enjoy a fabulous day without spending anything extra. There are, you can go to Oasis, uh, oasis Lagoon, Chill Island, South Beach, Breezy Bay, Harbor Beach. All those beaches and pool are included. No additional cost for that, number one. Number two, you can have lunch on Perfect Day for free. There is uh, Snack Shack, Chill Grill, and Skipper's Grill. All those locations are included as well. So there's no reason you need need to spend extra. Let me close my window because some of these bugs are getting in. Um, you don't need to spend extra if you don't want to. So, sorry, a little management here in the, in the studio. Um, <laughs> I think I got the bug. I got him. Hooray, he's gone. All right, now I can focus again. So you don't spend a dollar. So don't feel like you need to. Uh, next question. Sorry, guys. Between killing bugs and answering questions, lots to do here. Uh, I want to go on a cruise. I've never been on one. It's a bucket list task. YOLO book it. Make it happen, my friend. Uh, what are the true benefits of booking a grand suite on Harmony of the Seas? You get Wi-Fi included. You get double crown and anchor points. You get a bigger room. You get a full-size bathtub and um, priority boarding, priority disembarkation. You also get access to the concierge uh, themselves and the access to the suite lounge with drinks in the evening, meaning alcohol every evening of your cruise in the suite lounge. It's not bad at all. Really, really nice. I've seen a couple of questions about Haiti, guys. Guys, Haiti has its problems, but here's the thing. Royal Caribbean is probably still going to continue going to Labadee because while Labadee is in Haiti, like physically, um, it's a it's in a remote area of the country on a peninsula that is literally walled off from the rest of the country. This is not news. In Sorry, this is not new in the sense that there has been, Haiti has a lot of problems. Um, but the problems that you see, that you can see warnings about, they're related to cities. And if you're actually going to Haiti, Haiti, like you're going to like Port-au-Prince, Labadee is, there's always risks involved, but has not been the case at all. And I don't expect there to be any changes related to Royal Caribbean ships visiting Labadee because this has been the case. This has happened time and time again over the last two, three decades at this point. Um, I hope Haiti is able to, you know, eventually someday get in a better position. But um, this kind of stuff, unfortunately, happens a lot down there. Um, but the good news, if you want to look at it from that perspective uh, from a cruiser, is that it does not usually impact, rarely, if ever, impacts cruise ships going there. So if you have a cruise ship, if you have a cruise ship booked and you're going and you're, you're scheduled to go to Haiti, you're going to, rather, you're going to Labadee, you're, you're almost certainly still going to Labadee. Almost certainly. And I wouldn't think twice. Let me put it this way. I can't promise you anything. Right. But if I was going, I wouldn't even think twice about it because personally, it's 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 so remote, literally walled off with barbed wire. Um, it's not a concern if, if if in my opinion, just my own opinion, I'm not saying how you should think or anything like that. Uh, Suzanne, thank you for the super chat. I don't see a message from you, Suzanne. Suzanne, I don't see a message from you, but thank you for the super chat. Two crazy ketos. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, three days for independence from Miami. Is it still safe for Labadee? Yeah, and we just talked about those. I should have saved my little uh, explanation for your question there. Best place to stay in Seattle for ovation of the season, August. The, oh gosh, what's the hotel that Becky Menken from MEI Travel? The Tidewater? Tidewater Hotel, if I'm not mistaken. Is that a thing? Tidewater Hotel Seattle. The Edgewater. I knew there was like what Edgewater Hotel. Something like that. Edgewater Hotel is what Becky Menken from MEI Travel always recommends. And so I'm going to go with that one. 
Hey, Brittany B, thank you for the super chat. Why do so many people seem to dislike Falmouth? I absolutely love that port. I get so nervous there because of all the negative reviews. Blue Water Beach is awesome. You know what it is, Brittany, and it's part of it. Um, and listen, I have gone there a couple different times, and I get to find a great shore excursion. So I'm going to try Blue Water Beach next time. Um, the biggest problem is um, it's Falmouth is a relatively new port, and in the immediate surrounding, it's not in the immediate surrounding area. There isn't a whole lot to do. Essentially, I think part of the problem is it's not like Cozumel or so many other ports where you can walk off the ship and walk around and do your own thing and kind of find something to do there. It's much more dependent on shore excursions. Some of the better shore excursions require a longer ride out, like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour, if not more. Um, and that kind of diminishes the appeal for a lot of people because a lot of people are used to cruise ports in which you roll into port and you're there and you can do things right there. Um, there is a port area is not terrible, like the port facility, but it's very limited and obviously not very authentic by any means. Uh, next question. Oh, Maya and Ruins, you know what? Thank you for reminding me. Wow, I didn't think about this. Going back to, remember the Maya Chan question, or so the Costa Maya question? I want to do something in Costa Maya that's not beaches. Maya and Ruins, Chakchobin Ruins would be a good one. Thank you. I can't believe I didn't think about that. Gene, thank you for the super chat. Take a pair on an anniversary cruise, their first on Royal Caribbean. We'll make diamond on that cruise. Don't tell <laughs> I'm using them. Your, your secret's safe with me, Gene. No worries at all. Enjoy. Uh, get out now. Thank you again for the super chat. What is the dress code in all the restaurants? Just cut off Anthem and Main Dining did not enforce flip flops and tank tops. Honestly, dude, this is something I've, this is a problem I've had with Royal Caribbean for a long time. There are dress codes in place. They don't enforce them. Here's the thing. This is, and you saw this. Um, basically, for whatever reason, I don't know, I've never gotten an official reason, but Royal doesn't enforce the dress codes. What I think is, is dumb. I think either you have a dress code and you say we're going to have it and we're going to enforce it, or you say we're not going to have a dress code. And then it is what it is. And you know what? I'd be okay with either one. But I think it's a little silly to have a dress code on paper. And you know, you've seen it. Where they don't enforce it. Um, it's just kind of like, it's like, well, what's the point of having one if you're not going to enforce it? I think, in my opinion, I think the issue is they just simply don't want to get in. Like, it's, it's a no-win situation for them. Because if they tell someone who's not dressed properly, you can't come in there, it creates a negative experience with that guest. Now, they're in the wrong, obviously, because they're not following the dress code. But... I think that's how they look at it. They're just, I, again, I, I don't know that for a fact, but that's my that's my take on it. Um, so I, I, I've talked about this for a long time. I wish we're looking at if they're going to have rules, dress codes in the dining room, um, you know, the chair hog stuff, you know, how long you can leave your stuff unattended by a, a, at, a at a pool deck chair. If you're going to have these rules, cool. I'm all for them. Enforce them. Otherwise, no. Then, then get rid of them, quite frankly. Uh, next question. Uh, Callus, when does the concierge call you so you can book reservations when you're in star class suite? If you're in a star class suite, you're not going to get an email from the, you'll get an email actually from your, um, genie probably a month ahead of time. So we're in, the, in that ballpark. If you're staying in a sky class suite, then you'll get it like three or five days before your cruise. So, um, but you should be getting an email from the genie callous like about 30 days give or take beforehand Tim is having a terrible time on explore can you be more specific about why you're having a terrible time my friend maybe we can help you out here maybe we can offer you some advice uh robert swain thank you for the super chat 108 days to liberty of the seas how do you reprice a cruise we're married on a voyager of the seas honestly you know what i do i just tell my i ask my travel agent to do it but essentially, um, you need to, and sometimes this is somewhere, this is a point, Robert, where using a good travel agent really comes in handy. What is supposed to happen is if you see a lower price, you would call, you'd have your travel agent reprice it as long as you're before the final payment date. I have heard, Robert, many a time, someone who's booked directly with the cruise line, they book, you know, through Royal Caribbean, whether on the website or on the phone, and they call in and they give them that, that answer, oh, you can only reprice your cruise up to, four, after, up to 48 hours after you book your cruise which is not true, by the way. Um, but travel agents have their own methods of how they do things. And a travel agent can book, can reprice a cruise up to your final payment date, as long as you're a resident of a country that supports it, like US or Canada, as an example. Hope that answer makes sense to you. Uh, Aiden, is Coco Key Water Park worth it? 
I mean, I was actually, I, I recorded a podcast episode today about this and I was talking about, I live in Orlando. In Orlando, we have a num we have a ton of water parks. And in Orlando, the price for one day at Cuckoo Key, I could buy an annual pass to a number of water parks here in Orlando that um, have a, many more water slides than Cuckoo Key does. Now, that being said, Aiden, I don't know that you live in Orlando or have access to water parks like I do. And so in that case, yeah, it can be worth it. It's fun. I mean, listen, there are great water slides. They just added a new one um, in the last couple of months. And there's, of course, the wave pool, which I absolutely love. Um, it's not cheap, but it's not, you know, I, I still think there's value in it, quite frankly, especially if you've never been there before. Uh, Kevin, do they have a baby splash pad on Mariners? They do not, my friend. I'm sorry. Uh, how much is the water park and hot air balloon cookie? It depends on the cruise, Hideki. You got you to gotta reprice it on your own, my friend, unfortunately. There's not there's not a set price. It depends on the sailings. That's why I can't give you a a ballpark price, quite frankly. The Teresa McChain. Say hi to my husband since I can hear you playing ping pong on the TV in his man cave. I suppose you can say hi to Tony too. Oh, ping. Where did I get ping pong? Since I can hear you playing on the TV in his man cave, I suppose you can say hi to you as well. <laughs> Teresa, you guys are in different rooms. Listen, that counts as different views, Teresa. I am all for this, by the way, because that means I'm getting two views instead of one view. That's how you make the. Uh, no, I don't know if that's how you make any money, but it's it's yeah, I love that. Two crazy keynotes again. With thank you for the super chat. So excited for this year's cruises: Independence in three, Adventure in May, Ovation in August, Oasis in December, January, Utopia, Anthem May, and then Star of the Seas. September 25. That is a great lineup right there. You must sleep really well at night knowing you have that many cruises coming up there. Fantastic. Shoshana, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you for the super chat. Hi, Matt. Can you explain getting kids crowned anchor level of the parents? Tell my ki kids in May, ages 18, 17, and 16 were gold. So your 18 year old is out, or rather to the point, Shoshana, they would have gotten your, st your status whenever. Um, they right before up, up till the point they turned 18. The 17 and 16 year olds can get your status um, as long as you, they have a crown and anchor account, which they you should have you can set one up if you haven't done that yet. And then you'll say they use your kids and they will inherit your status. What that means, Shoshana, is that automatically they love gold. Now, listen, gold doesn't get a whole lot of benefits. In fact, if they if even if your 18 year old has been on one cruise by themselves already or been on one cruise altogether, they would have achieved gold status. It's not that lucrative, but. What it really means is that your kids, let's say your 17 and 16 year old have never been on a cruise before, but you have, they would get gold status off the bat instead of being pre-gold for their very first sale. And again, as long as they have a Crown and Anchor account and they you call Crown and Anchor and you tell them, hey, these are my kids, here's their number, you know, you kind of link them all together like that. That's all you need to do. But for being gold, there's not much. I mean, there's a couple like, you know, BOGO offers, things like that. So that's something. But um, essentially, they'll have your status. Now, let's say, let's say Shoshana... You you left the kids at home and you cruise like every week for the next like three months, right? And you got to like diamond status without your kids. Your kids would have diamond status. Their point total would be back at whatever it is, you know, zero or whatever it is. And then when they turn 18, they keep their status or they keep the status that you they got from you. But they would need to earn enough points on their own in order to move up to the next tier, if that makes sense. It's kind of confusing in some cases, but I hope that makes sense. MJ, thank you for the super chat. Good evening. 12 days to the Oasis, 44 to the Spectrum. Online on the app, assuming it doesn't have available times, will there be more available when we board on embarkation day? I don't know. Maybe. Um, the answer, I feel like the answer is usually yes, MJ. I've been, I will say all this anecdotally. I've been on many a cruise in which restaurants have been fully booked up. I get on the ship because I have a dining package. I get on the ship and I'm able to make a reservation. I can't promise you anything, but it's been known to happen. So let's say that. <clears throat> it's possible. Uh, my my God, Sugar is getting on board Icon of the Seas in less than two weeks. I can't believe I, Sugar is not going on Wonder of the Seas with his friends and has instead taken his uh, lovely wife and great kids on Icon. My goodness. Have a great time, my friend. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Suzanne, too quick on the Super Chat. Wanted your thoughts on Baltimore as a port compared to Cape Liberty and experience there. Essentially, the biggest difference is just going to be that Baltimore is does, has smaller ships. Uh, at Cape Liberty, you're going to get big ships, more variety of vessels. Baltimore, you're getting vision class ships, and that's it. In terms of the you know 
I would also add that I think Cape Liberty in general, it's a nicer port facility. It's newer, um, if that matters that much. Um, but really, Suzanne, here's what I, I mean. I'm assuming you live somewhere in the Northeast and that you could drive to one or both of these ports. But the biggest difference is going to be the ships departing from here rather than the experience otherwise, if that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Next question. Ainsley, thank you for the super chat. I checked in online on my traditional dining time to 745, but the app says my usual 8 p.m. Couldn't get clarification. Have you heard of this before? Because I haven't. Um, check it online. My traditional dining time. Traditional. Okay. 745. But the app says, the app is notoriously incorrect before the cruise, Ainsley. I, w I don't have a specific example of this. But I would probably lean towards your um, – if you did traditional dining, whatever you like you booked would be the correct one. I'm not saying that when you get on board the ship, it wouldn't change. Sometimes, depending on the sailing, they, the times can fluctuate a little bit. Like 15 minutes is not unheard of by any means. Um, so I don't know. I wish I'd give you a better – I, I wish I could give you a, an answer – that would be more like you can bet it's going to be X. And I, and I, and I can't do that, unfortunately. Uh, do you recommend a smaller ship for cruising the East Coast up to Canada? You pretty much, I would say yes. And there's only one reason. Not because of the ship, because of the itinerary. The smaller ships do more ports up to, in Canada. And for that reason, yes, I would. Uh, let's see here. Next question. What? Never cruise on Royal Caribbean before. What is toilet paper quality? Sandpaper. I love Royal Caribbean, guys. I can never, I, I can never do, I can never live on a cruise ship because after about two weeks, I would, I would, I, I don't know that the toilet paper and I would be able to last that long. It's not great. Pork chop and biscuit. Thank you for the super chat. Driving to New Orleans Port in January. I heard you now go straight to the public parking garage. You get shuttled with the garage with your luggage to Julia St. Terminal. Can you or somebody in the chat confirm this? I have no idea. I apologize. I mean. There's things I might know, and there's things I don't know. This is in the I don't know category. Uh, chat, help me out here, guys. Does anyone know what the situation is in New Orleans? Nolens. I don't think anybody says that. I think just dummies like me say that who don't really go there. Um, what's the situation there in terms of the embarkation process in New Orleans? Lauren, the legend, Lisco. Thank you for the super chat. Silly question, I know. Uh, lobster tail is limited to one, but what about the lobster mac and cheese featured in the Taste of USA Night? I think it's as much as you want on that one. Um, I th as far as I know, Lauren, it's just the lobster tail that has the lemon on it in the main dining room. So, Teenage Aviation, when is your next icon of the Seas Cruise? Um, we have one in June, uh, June 29th. It's actually our Royal Caribbean blog group cruise. So, we're not on the same one, my friend, unfortunately. Is Wonderland worth the hype? I think it's worth doing at least once, but it's not like the best rest. It's not my favorite restaurant by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, next question is from Travis. Travis, thank you for the super chat. Twice it says, till Roatan, is the port area walkable? We don't have a surgeon booked. Not really. Um, the port area is kind of run down. I wouldn't recommend it, quite frankly. I would say if you don't have, a tr if you don't have something booked, that's okay. Hop in a taxi and do something. The, the area immediately surrounding Rosian, as I recall, um, is not necessarily an area I would want to walk around. And it's not like Cosmo or something like that, even St. Martin. Um, I would definitely have some sort of a plan there. Brittany, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Matt. Love your channel. It's helped me on one of my travels from my trip to Alaska. But question, is it better to book your short excursions through your travel agency or through the app? There isn't a, there isn't a, a, a firm across the board answer, Brittany. The answer is you should look at both. You should look at excursions to Royal Caribbean and you should look at excursions on your own and then figure out which one is best pending on the port and the excursion offerings that are there. I do both. I sometimes book with Royal Caribbean, sometimes I book on my own. There's pros and cons to both, but I would never tell you, Brittany, you should limit yourself to one or the other. That is a mistake because um, depending on the, especially in Alaska, it is so easy to do things on your own or at least through a, a third party, I should say, that um, you'd be doing yourself a disservice if you limited yourself just to Royal Caribbean. In some cases, you might find, and this has happened many times, in which I find a better deal or, or an excursion only offered through the cruise line and not offered through a third party. So that's a good reason to book through the cruise line. 
among other reasons. Matthew's going to Icon on Saturday. First cruise of your life. Dude, have a great time. Uh, Mrs. Tom, it's so good to see you. Thank you for the super chat. Found out our 2025 cruise is, be is between both kids' spring break. This means that they will both end up with two weeks off. That sounds like a great play. <laughs> that works out well. I mean, not ideally you'd have it over the break, but hey, you know, love it. It's like, uh, it reminds me of my favorite line from The Simpsons, Mrs. Thomas, where uh, Marge goes, Homer, the plant call. They said, if you don't come in on Friday, don't bother coming in on Monday. And then he goes, woohoo, four day weekend. <laughs> Jessica Devoto, thank you for the super chat. How far in advance can you book shows on Harmony Disease 30 days beforehand? Up to 30 days beforehand. Uh, next question, right, right, rock, rich. Uh, are you locked into only having the travel agent make changes if you book through them? Only, so yes and no. The changes that the travel agent is the only one that can make on your behalf would be like, um, adding a person, changing the sale day, making like my time or gratuity changes. You get to do the fun stuff. You get to book shore excursions, Wi-Fi, drink packages, entertainment, that's still all on you. And that's the fun stuff. The travel agent is the one who is the one responsible for making changes. Like if you want to cancel your cruise, add a person to the reservation, um, add gratuities, change from my time dining to traditional or vice versa, things like that. In my opinion, they can have that. That's not exciting at all. There's nothing in I the, the stuff on the cruise planner is way more fun. Uh let's see here. Next question. And Hideki, I saw your message here. I don't remember what your original question was. I'm sorry. So if you want to restate your question one more time completely, I can try my best. Um, oh, David said, I would like an expanded question to the previous question. The main dining room doesn't enforce the dress code. How about especially dining restaurants? Um, it's more hit or miss, David. Honestly, dude, I'm telling you, they just don't enforce the dress codes. There are some example, exceptions. Um, I can tell you for, for a fact, Empire Supper Club enforces the dress code for men or for everybody. Um, they're at, especially restaurants. They're, they have their own dress code, which is different or supersedes the main dining room dress code. Again, I've seen people in shorts in many specialty restaurants. I, so my, I think my answer still pretty much holds up. Um, I would say in the grand scheme of things, there's probably more of a chance. Someone will say, Hey, excuse me, sir. Uh, you're not, you, you know, you need to, what you're wearing is inappropriate. Tony Diaz probably but um it it again i've seen plenty of people i'm like okay that's interesting they chose to wear that to the restaurant but whatever uh what is my favorite complimentary place to eat on icon of the seas oh this is easy um the aquadome market by far it's amazing so good love that place uh brandon do i still get sweet up benefits of upgraded to one with rail up yes except for the double crown and anchor points. That's the only one you won't get, assuming you rail up from a balcony room or lower to a suite. If you obviously book from like a junior suite up to a regular suite, then yes, you'll still get double crown and anchor points. Uh, Brian Walker Casillas, thank you for the super chat. Just got a jewel of the season two weeks ago for our first cruise. Thanks for all the info. 139 days old adventure with the kids. How do we bring a stroller on board? You just bring it. There's nothing special. It's not like going on an airplane you have to like gate check it. You just walk on board with it. Um, that's what we've always did. I would I would bring it on board. I would fold it up and put it underneath the bed if you possibly can. But that's there's nothing special to do. You don't have to declare anything or register anything. Just bring it on with you. Uh, next question is from uh, Mr. Shadow with a legit question. Wow, not a trolling question. Mike, you're losing your touch. Well, Star of the Seas have a chief dog officer. I don't know. We have don't we don't know them yet. Good question. I would think so, but um, I'd be more surprised if they don't than if they did. Let's put it that way. Jeremy Reinhardt, thank you for the super chat. My kids won't see this till tomorrow when it'll be 10 days till we cruise on alert. Can you sing a few bars of the final countdown? It's the final countdown. Do, 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 it's the final. I don't know why I'm going so over. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. Uh, how many inaugural cruises have I been on? Could you rank them? Icon, Wonder, Symphony, 
Harmony, Odyssey. Mm. It's the final countdown. Uh, was I on Anthem? I was on a media cruise for Anthem. Five for sure, maybe six or seven. Um, Icon by far was the best one. Not just because Teresa McChain was there, but I think it would really be um, Icon. Well, many of them are interchangeable. Symphony Wonder, they're all, they're all really, really nice for different reasons. Uh, can you please explain the new main dining room options? Yeah, Kevin, there's basically me three times. One's to be like around five, one's to be around 7.30 or so, and the, or seven o'clock and then eight o'clock. Um, 6.45, seven o'clock, and the other one would be eight something. Patty Frey, thank you for joining the Royal Green Blog Club. Thank you. Thank you, Patty, for becoming a club member. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see here. Which rooms have a bidet? Only some of the bigger suites, Jake, on some ships. Not even all, like, it's not like all Grand Suites have them. But I know, like, on Navigator of the Seas and Mariner of the Seas in the owner suite they had them. But it's kind of hit or miss. Jason, thank you for the Super Chat. Flying in Orlando, best hotel out of Canaveral. Home two suites. The home two suites. I stayed there a couple times. It's fairly new. I like that quite a bit. Home two suites. Uh, let's see here. Jill M. Thank you for the Super Chat, Jill. I don't see a message from you. What is your opinion on ducks? First time here, not sure if I should hide some. I think it's fun. If you don't like them, don't hide them. Don't look for them. It doesn't really affect you at all. But for people that do, more power to them. I, I don't care. My kids like them. Um, and I know a lot of people enjoy hiding them as much as finding them. So if that brings pleasure to them without any impact on anyone else's cruise, which it doesn't, then I say, let them eat cake. Uh, next question. Oh, Greg, thank you for answering the New Orleans question earlier. Once you enter Port of New Orleans, what it says on their website, the Julia Street Terminal drop-off area where the sea caps will assist you with your luggage. So thank you for looking that up, my friend. I appreciate you. Hopefully that answered that question we had earlier about that. Greg, uh, Greg, where did I get Greg from? George, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Matt, love your content. Thank you. Anywhere for welcome to extend the short time for Perfect Day, Coco Key. Nothing yet. I've not heard anything. I wish they would, my friend, because especially in the summertime, they leave so early. But I, I would love for them to do that. Uh, next question. How do payments work through MEI Travels? The same as Royal Caribbean, the down payment, and then a final payment or their installments? Yeah, no, same thing. I, all three. You can, depending on when you book, obviously, you make a deposit, and then you can make payments along the way or wait for final payment and do it all up there. The biggest difference with MEI Travel with payments, Slew Dog, is they will ask for final payment about a week before the real final payment. Why? Because things happen. People forget to make final payment. They don't want it to become this like, ooh, your reservation is canceled because at the last minute you forgot to make a payment. They give it a little more buffer. That's all. Uh, Jordan Johnson, thank you for the super chat. I'm considering Hideaway Beach, but I'd like to know your opinion. Would I be better off seeing my money and sticking with Chill Out and Waste Lagoon? I loved Hideaway Beach, Jordan. Um, and full, I'm going back there in two weeks. when we go going to Wonder of the Seas. Um, would you be better off? I mean, listen, you have a great time at Chill Island and Oasis Lagoon. Absolutely, you have a great, like, fabulous time. But it's more a question, Jordan, do you want, like, a pool party vibe? Do you want to be living your best war and sea life? Then, yes, that's what, that's the best choice for you. Um, it's, you can have a great time at either one. The price, if you can get Hideaway Beach for under $50 a person, I think it's well worth the money right there. By the way, speaking of Warren C, it is good to see you, Warren. Hope you are well. I see you in the chat, my friend. Thank you for helping out tonight. Tuxedo t-shirt and skinny jeans. I, I'm not the arbiter, Jake, of what is the dress code. So you're asking the wrong person. Susan Westfall, thank you for the super chat. Again, Susan, on Oasis in 111 days. Do you know what shows will be? This is on the cruise planner yet. Yeah, it will be the same shows, Susan, that they've had forever. If you go to if you go to realcommunblog.com and look at a past cruise compass. Those are going to be the shows. The, the difference will be, obviously, the movie lineup will be different, like the movies they show, and the comedians will be different. Other than that, it's going to be Cats, it's going to be Aqua 80s, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the times will probably be almost identical to your sailing. Susan, if you're prime, can you just go to the casino and get a drink and leave? Yes, absolutely. I've put this to the test many a time. Uh, next question is from Melissa Barron. Melissa, thank you for the super chat. Did the accessible junior suites on Navigator have access to the suite lounge since there are no accessible cabins 
at a higher suite level? I don't believe so. I understand why you're at the nature of your question, like the direction why you're going in this direction. I don't believe so. I could be wrong on this, but I've not heard of this being the case. At the end of the day, it's still a junior suite and accessible or not, junior suites don't get access to the concierge lounge or the suite lounge. So um, I, my expectation would be no, unfortunately. Uh, next question. It's the final countdown. Do, 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 do. Matt, you'd be a great lead vocalist on Royal Caribbean. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Appreciate you. Easy pop or e-zip pop. E-zip zop. E-zip zop. Easy or is it easy ip zop? Easy. Thank you for the super chat. Going on Symphony and saying in a junior suite, I asked a Royal employee and they said, I want to access the suite deck. Correct. Why can't I access the suite deck if I'm saying in a junior suite? Because the junior suite is actually a suite. Despite the name, it's not. It's uh, You don't get the full suite benefits. That's essentially the reason. You have basically an extra large balcony. If you want to get access to the suite deck, you need to be in a grand suite or higher. Uh, let's see here. Penny, under, under my time dining in the app, and now it's making reservations, it also says 18% is automatically added. Correct. Is that only for something you pay premium for, such as drinks or additional costs? No. Um, when you do my time dining, one of the nuances, I don't know when they added this, but it's not It's not new. With my time dining, your um, your the automatic gratuity that everybody pays is automatic for you as my time, as opposed to you'd have the choice of paying it while on board the ship. Um, that's the only difference. So it's it's in my opinion, it's it's better because that means you're going to pay off the gratuity, um, the automatic gratuity that is for your cruise at final payment date, and then there's one less bill on your set sail pass um, by the end of the sailing. Uh, next question is from Nick and Allie. We are cruising on Icon and with two kids. We're trying to decide if our side-by-side -side stroller would work on the ship or be too wide. The problem is, that this, is, this, is not on the ship. The problem is in your cabin, dude and dudette. Um, the, I had this, when I, we had kids that were young, and we didn't have two that were that age. We really had like a single stroller. I fought with my wife tooth and nail with the stroller. I was like, the stroller, for all times, the stroller is helpful. It's a hindrance and a pain in the butt every other time. It takes up room in your cabin. It is a pain to get on and off the airplane. It's a pain in many of the ports you're visiting in the Caribbean that have uneven roads and sand. It's useless. Um, it's really nice on the ship for getting from point A to point B. And that's about it. Now, if I haven't talked you out of it yet, my advice to you is leave the double stroller at home. Go on Amazon or go to Walmart. Pick up the cheapest two um, uh, pop-up strollers, the, the the umbrella strollers, you know, the, the cheapest of the cheap. The ones that look like they should be holding baby dolls in them, use them there on the ship and then throw them away at the end of your cruise. Um, that will take up far less space. They'll be much more manageable to use and you'll still get the primary benefit of a stroller on board. Well, I've never, well, I think she agreed with me at that one at the end, but in the beginning, I just... But to me, I say we just leave the strollers at home because they don't, they get more, they're more of a hindrance, but I lost that battle. Uh, Mark, I am booked on a cruise. Well, I need to rebook my traditional dining time now that I have three times. You don't have to rebook your cruise. No, you can just simply change your time if you'd like to. Um, but it's, it's, it depends if you're on a ship that has it yet because they're slowly, slowly rolling it out. Uh, do you know when we'll get more information on YouTube? We pretty much know most of the info, um, Seekerch, but you know, in the last couple of weeks, months before this, the ship sets sail, probably. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> or do you have a drink and a sub in the casino? Man speaks with experience right there. Uh, next question. <laughs> It's the final countdown. Emily and Joshua Patterson, thank you for the super chat. Go on an adventure in May and set stop, set to stop in Labadee my first time. If the situation remains unstable there, do you think Rogue will bypass it? No, Emily, I don't think they will. Um, we talked about this earlier in the broadcast, but essentially, long story short, this is not new for, for Haiti. Haiti has a lot of problems, but the problems you see, the warnings you see, this is not the first time we've seen them, the many, many times. And all the times Royal Caribbean still goes to hate Labadee, because while Labadee is in Haiti, you're right. It is in such a remote area of Haiti that is literally walled off from the rest of the country that the risks are significantly lower there. The warnings that you see there in the news and from the State Department, those are aimed at people who will like go to like Haiti, like real Haiti, like they fly into Port-au-Prince, something like that. 
Uh, Travis Frommer. Travis, thank you for the super chat. Again, my dude, thank you so much. My wife, dis- my wife and I disagree about dining on the icon. She wants to skip the main dining room for other venues. Is it overrated? Ooh. <sighs> she wants to skip the main dining I mean, well, listen, my wife is, my wife would agree with your wife. I will simply say this. I, there's a lot of good complimentary dining on icon. I would add, you don't have to go to the main dining room necessarily. You could go to like Aquadome Market. You could go to Surfside Eatery or Surfside Bites. Um, there are some, and of course the Windjammer and things like that. I think the, the the special dining is good. The problem, if you will, well, this has changed a little bit now more recently. There, there's pros and cons. Um, you can make an argument for both. I don't know that you're both right, essentially. The good thing about the good thing about sticking to complimentary is of course you're going to save money right you're going to and there's some really good restaurants that are included you could do you know main dining room wind jammer surfside bites surfside eatery aquadome market five i mean probably surfside bites is a stretch that's not really a restaurant so four legit restaurants that you can go to um to mix things up if there's like a day in which the main dining room doesn't look that appealing right and that's a pretty good you know alternative on the flip side Especially dining offers a lot more cuisines and cooking styles, and there's some nice benefits to doing that as well. So it's like pick your poison kind of thing. Uh, Tony Diaz, thank you for the super chat, Tony. Matt, are all ships grants me benefits the same? No. Um, if you're on a Oasis, Icon, or Quantum class ship, you get more benefits for staying in a grand suite versus the rest of the fleet, you know, Navigator, Voyage class, Room class. Ratings class, uh, vision class, you don't get as many benefits. A great example, Tony, beyond other things, um, there's complimentary Wi-Fi on Oasis, Icon, and Quantum class ships, and the rest don't have that. Please say a big Royal Caribbean happy birthday to Terry Simpson from all of us at the Jericho State Bay Tap and or- Orangery Tunderfield. Have a wonderful day, Terry. Terry, my, my dude, happy birthday. Enjoy it. Hope somebody got you a cruise for your birthday. Tom Cruises, thank you for the super chat. Can't wait to go to Bermuda with you in June. Cooking Yo said, hi, I'm about halfway to Pinnacle in three years with what I have booked for this year and just a signature last cruise. Tommy English, my friend, hope you are well. Hope uh, Mr. Cooking Yo is treating you well. Hope he is uh, regaling you with stories of his time in Germany and playing Heidi and um, the time he had to go visit his in-laws in New Jersey. Tom, looking forward to sailing with you, buddy. And, and tell your buddy, by the way, Cook and Yo, to book that cruise in June on Liberty. He can make it happen. I mean, he, he, can put, he can spend some time in the blank box that I can't say on the air and get some extra OT. Uh, make, you know, make, make, that, make, make the dream work, you know? Lauren Reed. Lauren, thank you for the super chat. When you purchase a rail up, is that a one-time cost or per person per day cost? You're fabulous. Thank you. It's per person, but one time. So when you book it, Lauren, it'll be, you'll see, it'll be like, okay, if you go all the way up to the booking process, uh, if you go all the way up to checkout, you'll see it'll chart the, whatever that number is, it'll multiply it by two. And then, but that, but that's it. It's not per day, just per person. So hope that makes sense. Uh, Tony just got back uh, from Anthem. Love that ship. Awesome. Uh, I mentioned this earlier, but Callista, one of our writers was on there. So we're gonna have some nice um, Anthem of the Seas content coming to you at royalgreenblog.com. Uh, John just bought my course online. Thank you, my friend. Actually, John, can I can I be honest with you? You were the you can you you can tell this for the rest of your life. You were the very first person to book to buy the uh, Royal Caribbean Cruise Academy Pro course. So uh, thank you, my friend. I hope you enjoy that. Let me know if you have any questions or comments because I'm uh, happy to uh, help you out there. Looking for a recommendation in Fort Lauderdale for dinner. Um, uh, La Bamba. It's a Mexican restaurant. La L.A. space, B-A-M-B-A. Great restaurant. Been there a couple times. Really good. Jose, it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Jessica, it's your birthday? Happy birthday, Jessica. Awesome. A lot of birthdays today in the chat. Uh, after the cruise, is it quicker to go through customs with a passport or ID and birth certificate? Passport. 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 It's the final countdown. Passport. Always. Like, a thousand percent faster. And uh, and that is all we've got here. That's We've run out of time. Guys. We're well over our hour. Thank you so much for joining us here. really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Amazing support in the chat. Thank you, first of all. Shout, shout out to all of our people in the chat because you guys are not only there, you're helping each other out. Even Warren C. is offering his sage advice. 
about how you can enjoy sub sandwiches on board roller coaster cruises. But I really, in seriousness, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for helping each other out. Good questions today. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I love talking roller with all of you guys. And we'll be back again next week doing it again right here on YouTube. Until then, be sure to check out rollercoasterblog.com. And uh, we will uh, talk next week right here on YouTube. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.